Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, Bangalore. We are the sales and support point for Spatial Manager software in India. Spatial Manager is a hybrid CAD GIS platform that runs on BricsCAD and AutoCAD and allows you a number of spatial and GIS-like functions within your CAD environment. In this video, we will show you how to export drawing entities as ISRI shape files. So in the spatial manager pull down menu, you can go to the export option here or you can switch on the BricsCAD ribbon and under the spatial manager tab, you can find the export option here as well. So if I click on this, you will get the export dialog box where you can select entities that you want to export. In this drawing, I have a number of blocks and these blocks also have attribute. These are fuse blocks which are actually placed on the ground at different locations. So I'm going to choose all entities because in this drawing I have only blocks. But if you want, you can also choose as per layer selection. The other thing which is important is that you need to define what type of data you want to export. So in the case of blocks, for example, if you have name and attributes, if you want to ex export the attributes, you must make sure that this is checked. If you want to export the scale, or the rotation angle that must be checked as well the most important is the geometry so make sure that the point coordinates have been checked x y and z otherwise you won't get them by default in the output you, in addition you can also export length and area for linear and polygon object you can also export extended entity data if it exists in your drawing then we click next then I need to specify the output folder so I'm going to create fuse.shp in this folder see here you can also specify the output type so by default it is shape but you can also export it in KML KMZ or TGN GML and so many other formats so we're going to click next so you can have further control on what type of geometry should be exported and what is the format of the output shape file so let's leave it as automatic so when you leave it as automatic all the point entities become point shape and linear entities become the linear shape so when you leave it as automatic spatial manager will apply its best decision and create correct output say next you have also the option to change the coordinate system if you like and click on finish so that's done already 160 shape file records have been written now if i go to my file explorer here now if i go to my windows explorer and look at the output so these are the three files it created fuse.shp this is the main geometry shape file fuse.shx is the geometry and database index file fuse.cpg is the code page file and fuse.dbf is the main database it's a dbase format file so this is how you export entities from BricsCAD into a shape file using spatial manager thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions